What is going on, Staple? My name is Gabe. Today is Monday, and that means it's Market Monday. In this last week, we have seen some new spoilers for Dust Till Dawn, as well as it has been the second week for Road to Nationals. We're also just coming off of the recent Living Legend of Oldham. We did talk about that in last week's video, but that's still in effect. He's no longer. So people are still trying to figure things out with this upcoming new meta. We will have to wait to see really where the meta heads once Dust Till Dawn is out, and we know what the new Prism and Vincent do and how that might impact the format. Let's just get straight into this. Jumping straight into Welcome to Wraith, we see Toma Fiendel going up 146.5%. This was around a $7.10 card. Now it's sitting around $11.73. Looks like at the high of the jump, it did shoot up to $17.50. That is a crazy number to jump and go over. And the reason we could see this card spiking so hard is one of the new tokens that have been spoiled for this upcoming set. That's gonna be the Eloquence token. When you play non-attack action card, destroy this, and the card will gain go again. So this is gonna give you Toma Fiendel go again, which will then let you draw your two cards, maybe gain some life, and then you get to go again with those new cards in hand to do more shenanigans. Super powerful card, Toma Fiendel. If this token can pair into with the Toma Fiendel deck, that's gonna be crazy. Crippling Crush going up 19.5% from $2 up to around 240. Looks like the foils jumped around $10 themselves. Guardians are back at it again with Cranial Crush going up 17.2%. Was coming from $3.37 up to $3.95. This card is a Bravo staple. They're a blue pitch, their power is eight. They block for three. It's looking for everything a Bravo card wants. So it's just more Bravo players picking up a couple more cards on the off chance that that's the deck they're gonna start swinging into. Side note, why we probably see all these Bravo cards going up is because we do see the new Bravo specialization, which is then gonna lead to Bravo gaining some more support, especially being the only CC legal guardian. Working our way into Arcane Rising, we see Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath going up 56.2%, coming from around $2.10 all the way up to the average of $3.28. Blazing Aether going up 25.8%, coming from around $3.14 up to $3.95. Storm Striders is striding up that green arrow because it is on the move. This last week, you could pick up a near mint lightly played version of this card for around $120, $125. And now the cheapest on the market is for $160, $1 shipping. And then you go down the line, $165, $180, $200. On the 26th, it looks like there was a huge quantity of them purchased, ranging from $100 all the way up to the $130. These could be players picking up their copies, but most likely there's a person that thought this card was too cheap for what it is, and they've decided to pick up a huge handful of this. But once more copies enter circulation and people start listing their card, it's eventually going to be a falling knife effect and it will start to drop the price lower. I can't imagine it's going to stay around the $180, $200 mark for long. Side note adding in why we might be seeing these wizard cards going up is because of the new Eloquence token. This can grant wizards an additional spell to play on their turn or a couple additional, which then represents more damage or combos. Now let's talk about Crucible of War. The top card went up by 61.8%. Ranging around a three dollar and a cent price point, now it's up to four eighty seven. Stamp authority. It's letting you know it's authority because it's making a move. This is a guardian action aura. When this card first came out, it looks like the high was around twenty dollars, maybe around ten dollars. Lately in this last year, we were able to see that it leveled out around two dollars, three dollars a card. So this card might have been a good pickup for a long time now. People are getting their copies, anticipating a sweet new Bravo shell. They did show Bravo is getting a new specialization, so people are getting excited for Bravo specialization. Taking a gander at Shiana Diamond Gemini, we did know this had a major spike last week due to the announcement of a Shiana specialization. And now if we're looking at the market, you can pick up a copy around $122. So it's come down just a little from what it was. Another notable card coming from Crucible of War is Cash In. This went up by 19.4%, coming from $3.24 up to 387. This card sees a lot of play in a lot of decks, but what I'm seeing from Twitter and everything going on with which deck is really utilizing Crown Dominion and Cashin, that's gonna be the Royal Viscerai. That deck first broke out during the calling in Baltimore with Zach Bunn's deck list of having the Royal Viscerai, which he top aided. So I'm sure people are still just on that hype train 
of Royal Viceroy and they're picking up their copy because it's a lot of fun. Last few weeks, Monarch and Crucible have been the one going up the most. This is not the case for today because Everfest is on the move. It's on fire. Runic Reclamation going up 160% from $1.16 up to $3.02. Blood on her hands going up 130% from $3.35 up to $7.72. We know in this new Dust Till Dawn, Warriors will get a few cards. People are getting excited. Maybe they're getting hopeful that Kasai will get a few new pieces for her deck. Fractal Replication going up 88.24% from $2.38 up to $4.48. That's a wrap. This is this week's Market Monday. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked anything that you saw down below, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and at most importantly, subscribe if you're into it because it's kind of cool and I like having you around here every Monday. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.